The Truly Married Woman. A biozanical story, The Truly Married Woman, is a contemporary story that merges both traditional aspects of marriage and modern marriage practices. Story emphasizes the importance of valid marriage as compared to cohabiting. Through this emphasis, the writer, however, satirizes marriage as it is not only economically draining but fails to provide happiness that should come with it. In the beginning, Ajayi and Ayo lived together even though Ayo had always wanted to be married properly. While Ayo tries to course Ajayi to marry her indeed, Ajayi is hesitant as he feels that marriage involves some wild spending and the ceremony is unnecessarily costly. This view frustrates Ayo until she admits that it would never happen, thus, she stops talking him into it. Their time together appears relatively amicable as Ayo performs her wifely duties faithfully. They enjoy an everyday family life punctuated with minor conflicts such as the one that arises over Ajayi's beating of their son Oju. This conflict surprises Ajayi as Ayo rarely ever disagreed with him. At this point, Ayo's modernized trait is revealed as she discloses that she has been attending women's meetings where they learn modern ideas of overseas doctors. Ajayi spends his day in the office thinking about this revelation which makes him admire Ayo the more. As the closing hours approach, Ajayi receives an unexpected guest, missionaries from World Gospel Crusading Alliance. He remembers that he had contacted them with the hope of getting free Bibles, religious pictures and maybe some magazines. However, the missionaries are set on enrolling him as one of them, but the chief clerk saves him by explaining that it was prohibited for government workers. He invites the team with the chief to his home, where the wife reorganizes the house after learning that guests are on their way. She even borrows a wedding ring from a neighbor. After the missionary's visit, Ajayi tells Ayo that he plans to marry her. Although she is shocked, Ayo welcomes the marriage and thus starts preparing for it. Ironically, she turns down his sexual advances that evening, arguing that it would be incorrect. She moves back to her parental home, where the traditional marriage preparation practices are carried out. Soon, the church wedding ceremony takes place. Ayo chooses to dress in a grey dress instead of the traditional white one as Ayaji had wished. The grey dress is symbolic of her impurity since she is already a mother of three. She also wanted a corset to ensure she did not look too massive. After the church wedding, a European ceremony is also conducted where a wedding cake is cut. Ajayi notices that Ayo had been transformed after the wedding. He saw her proud head for the first time, and true to his observation, the following day, Ayo does not wake up early to prepare his morning tea like she always did. The story ends with Ayo's declaration to Ajayi that she was now a genuinely married woman who needed a little more respect and thus would not arise to prepare a cup of tea for the husband.